Hey man, what is your thoughts on prepping? Catholics. Um, prepping is kind of like a subgenre uh, in YouTube world anyways. I guess it's a, it's a, it's a subgenre lifestyle where people try to prepare for the worst by either storing up food, um, learning skills, or other things like that related to survival. And I often wonder how prepared Catholics are. When I say that, I mean that I often run into three types of Catholics when it comes to this subject. The first type is the most common, and that's the la di da Catholics. They're not prepared for anything. They never think about it. Life is just fine. They go to work every day, just like everybody else, not really thinking about it, and um, do their job as a as a Catholic man or woman in their household, but don't really think about what could happen and if they're really prepared for it. The second type of Catholics are the ones that are preppers. They have, say, six months worth of food stored up just in case. They've learned skills like um, beekeeping or gardening, hunting, animal husbandry, anything that can provide you with a sense of uh, self-reliance. And the third group of Catholics that I've come across with regards to the subject are the type that believe that the good Lord will provide for them and they, then they need not worry about that kind of stuff. Uh, this video is more aimed at the la di Catholics and the good Lord will take care of us Catholics. Um, to the la di Catholics out there, how many times are you going to have to go into the grocery store now and see that flour is in short supply or pickling salt is no longer in supply? You can't even get canning jars and um, the, the shelves are empty half the times. A lot of times you go in, go to do your grocery shopping and the things that you want aren't there. And I'm not just talking about toilet paper, I'm talking about basic staples. Now, even if the world doesn't blow up tomorrow, and I'm not saying that it is, what happens if you lose your job and you can't find another one for another year? Or what happens if you get sick and you can't earn a living anymore? How are you going to survive? Just a simple thought like that should provoke you to think that maybe you should be putting together a few months of uh, food supply for you and your family. But what if something does happen? What if something big does happen and you're not prepared? What if something prolonged happens? Six, say a year. The world, the world economy is down. The uh, supply chain is completely broken. How are you going to survive? How are you going to feed your kids? Your kids are going to be crying for food and you're going to be going to your neighbor to beg. I would rather see you in a position where you are in well supply and you can help your neighbor if they need help. Wouldn't you rather see that? What's the harm in having, you know, a few bags, like kilo, uh, 20 kilogram bags of rice kicking around in a safe, dry place? What's the harm in planting a small garden and learning how to cultivate food? What is the problem with learning a skill that could be useful to you in a survival situation or as part of a community effort? To the Catholics that think the good Lord will take care of me on that day, well, you should probably think like this. If that is what you really believe, if you really believe the good Lord's going to take care of you, and I'm not saying he's not going to, if you have faith, he will, but if you really believe to that level, 
that he's going to take care of you. Then why don't you just quit your job right now and just see how it flies. Just quit your job and the good Lord will take care of you. He'll provide all everything you need. You just quit. You don't even try. Because that's what it sounds like to me when I hear Catholics say stuff like that. It says to me, you're not even going to try. And I don't think that's what true Christianity is about. I do believe the good Lord expects us to try. And then he will provide. So why don't you try and store some beans and some rice? Why don't you try to learn how to grow a few potato hills? Or learn a new skill? And what kinds of skills should you learn? Pick anything. I mean, generally speaking, a parish group is a pretty stable side. It's a pretty stable group. If something did happen, um, let's say even if you just lost your job, the parish group tends to stick out, uh, stick out, stick up for each other. They tend to help each other when times are bad for another uh, member of their parish. But in a grid down or a world devastating event parish groups would be very useful everybody has a skill they can they can offer to that group to help them thrive as a community try and find a skill that nobody else has in your parish you know maybe for example where i live there's a lot of mechanics and a lot of carpenters i'm not either so i pick things that are a little different i learn I grew up on a farm, so I try and cultivate the skills where I can grow food or learn how to raise meat or how to um, go out and uh, mass collect firewood, for, for instance, at age 50. I still do that by hand and uh, split by hand too, by the way. Um, can you do that? Can you be physically capable at your age right now? You're, let's say you're 25 years old. Do you think you could chop 20 truckloads of firewood by hand in the wintertime? Seems like a simple enough skill, doesn't it? Like I said, I'm 50 years old and I've done it for years now. Anyway, some food for thought for you. For you Catholics out there. And I really would like you to leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what your thoughts are on prepping. Where you're at with it. And what... Of those three types of Catholics with regards to prepping, do you fall into? Catholic Northman, out.